Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Invasion series. So, last episode, we got a couple things done. Uh, well, I between episodes, I moved all of the uh, resource material into this uh, storage crate here, just to get it out of here, just so we can just have uh, items that we need to build things with in here. Um, we got our kinetic dynamos built and a windmill built. Between episodes, I got some more en energy conduit done so we can run power. Uh, we got our nether brick or our concrete brick here ready to go to build our windmill today. And we did a huge um, update to the base where we basically added a farm area here that we're going to uh, uh, continue to expand on. Maybe today depends, excuse me, depends on um, if we can get this uh, windmill tower up and running quickly. So you notice here the hemp doesn't look like it's grown. Actually it had, it all had it grown between episodes. So I harvested it all. We've almost got enough. We almost got three stacks. We just need one more stack of hemp, industrial hemp to make one more um, windmill. So we need to find out below here where we want to run our power. So we're going to do that first. And we're going to knock that out. So I think, what do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think maybe right here is probably the perfect spot. All right, so that's where the power is going to come down to. So now we need to go and actually, yeah, we'll go do this first. Um, actually, you know what? No, let's go get some more sticks. Now, I, I did remove everything from our strainers. It doesn't look like there's much here. All the usable material it, I put in our bins. Um, and everything else that we're not going to use right away I left there so just want to see if we've got a lot of sticks here yet now oh, we've got a few I'm gonna make some ladders we're gonna need a bunch of ladders so let's go ahead and do that um, how many can we get here ah, that's not bad 24 yeah we lost it starting to go through these now that's been two and two episodes we're gonna start uh, having to go out soon we still got 21 left so I mean Got some building to do. Actually, gonna put one here because jumping up is becoming painful with the uh, boots here. So we're gonna go. I want to encase this entire windmill in concrete all the way up and have a ladder go up at the same time. Uh, and what we'll do, I think, um, should we go out one? No, I think right here is fine. So we're gonna do this. So the power will come down here. The windmill will be up. I wonder if it does need to be up. Well, you know what? We can do that when we get up there. And this will be the, where our ladders go up right here. Yeah, and our power cable will run down here. So the last time, I remember doing this before. Actually, let's go, let's go down and get our power cables. I remember doing this before uh, when I first did this series. And I built my, my tower way up. And I didn't bring, like, ladders or conduit with me. And then I had to, like, somehow get right go back up and actually put all this stuff in it was kind of a pain in the butt so we're going to have this come down here we're going to do that like that for now we're going to have to move that machine most likely or we may move we may run conduit over but we're going to build this up we got a lot of concrete here so we're going to go build a couple layers at a time and, you know, I'm just going to speed this up and I'll show you in fast motion, but you get an idea. Okay, so this will be the top of our windmill, just because I run out of ladders. Um, it's actually not bad. It's pretty high up. Uh, we're at what? Uh, y91, so it's not too bad. I mean, we're pretty high up in the area here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run a little bit of a platform out here. And I'll probably put a windmill... Uh, our main windmills will be right here, most likely. This is just so that uh, when we're up here, if drones or something come, we'll have a harder time to be knocked off. All right, so I want to run... Let's go out one more on this side. There's a reason for that here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to run, I think, the tower up here because we need room for the blades to run uh, let's do it like this and you know what I didn't bring up the windmills or the dynamos 
Well, you know what? We may have the windmills done by the time we go back down. So put this here, put this here, and then let's grab our barriers. Don't have enough, I don't think. But we'll make some more when we go down. Okay, we need to get, what, three more? That's fine. Um, what we'll do is the windmills will go here and here, facing that way and that way. I mean, the other way to do this, too, is to put four up and have one on each corner facing a different direction. But I think these two will interfere with each other if we do that. Let's go get our windmills. I like having this encased in conca uh, concrete, just in, like I said, just in case of a drone strike or something along that line. Um, bad things can happen, so I'd rather avoid that. All right, so let's grab these two guys and this. Uh, we can set it up with the power, and then we'll get the last windmill out there. I'm going to need, uh, we got enough concrete, we need more walls. Come on, lagging. Sagging, lagging, okay. So let's get up here and up there. Probably what I'll end up doing is encasing this front with like, I don't know, maybe we'll do hardened wall concrete uh, across all the whole side or something, or maybe one right down the center here. We'll see how it goes. All right, for now, we'll do this. We can't get knocked off by accident. And what we're going to do is we're going to run it this way. Okay, I should have brought my uh, hammer. All right, so in order to get this correct, and it's kind of a pain in the butt, uh, you need to be in front of the dynamo to be able to put the windmill on. So what we're gonna do is this and this, and then we wanna put our dynamos. Okay, so that's where the windmill blade goes there, like this. And let's put our first windmill up on this side so there it is there, and we can just break these blocks now. It'll start spinning in a second. It should start spinning. There we go. Just takes a second or so, and it'll start spinning. Then what we're going to do is we're going to run our remaining conduit. I don't think we have enough, though. We've got to take the power out of the top. Three, four, five. Yeah, we don't have enough. We're short, like, what, one, two, like, three? And then whatever we need for down here. Oh, look at that tree grew right beside us. Nice. Okay, so let's go make some more power conduit. Relatively simple. Let's kill this guy so he's not annoying us. He'd be walking up to the base. We don't want that. All right, let's go over here. And we need to make some conductive iron. So let's get redstone. We're going to need to go get some redstone. Man. And we need iron. I think I was cooking up some iron. Was I? No. Uh, we need three iron. So I'm waiting till we get full power going here before I um, cook up all the rest of the iron. I want to save it for stuff that I absolutely need, like this. And we need some more energy conduit. We got two of these here. Uh, we got this conduit binder. Uh, we can cook that up. I wonder if we got any more yet. Uh, no, we did not. So we're going to have to make some. That's easy enough. We know how to make conduit binder. We just need two of these. Five gravel. And two sand. Just trying to avoid having to do operations in the workbench if I can avoid it. I only got one gravel or one clay for some reason. There we go. All right, more binder. We are going to cook this up as well we just need six so oh, there we go all right let's get this going here this is not going to be enough for everything we need for but it'll be enough for now uh, what we'll end up doing is we're going to run the power um, just in here I'm going to break all this out we're going to move our machines like right over here so we have very little conduit running uh, until we can get some more resources to do it. Now, I'm going to need to get some redstone like really, really badly. So we're going to have to go get, do that. I'm uh, going to do a run to see if we can get some uh, uh, some more redstone. But we'll do that next episode. This is getting really dark. All right, we need torches. We need torches! Let's get some tiny coal. 
Make some tiny torches. I think we used up all our torches. It'd be nice to use these, but I don't want to use end rods up there. Uh, let's just get a piece of coal here. And make some tiny torches. We don't have enough for tiny torches, but we got 12. That should be plenty. We'll get some more sticks in a minute here. Ah, these boots, man. Sometimes you want to take them off when you're at home because it's just, you run into stuff here. Uh, let's do that. Should give us a bit of light. Wow, it is so dark. Can't put it, but can't even put it by the ladder. Uh, let's do this. I know what we'll do. So this is like like the uh, new moon, right? So we can't see a damn thing. That's why. Let's do that. There we go. Now we should be able to see all the way up. There we go. Bit of a pain, but we got there. <laughs> so dark. We'll do it like that. That way all the mobs from the entire world can see where we are. We just needed two more. Now we got power running. Uh, let's put um, one of these in here for now. And then we'll do the same over here when we come back and put this next one up. And we should be able to get that material today to finish that up. Um, how are we doing down there? It looks like some of them have grown. I love how quick these things are. Elevator down. All right, uh, we wanted to put one of these in here too, just to light it up a little bit. All right, going down, come on. Now, let's see how much power we're getting. We're gonna take these out of here. I was hoping we could put stuff on these. It would be kind of better if you could. Where'd it go? Oh, it was in there. Might as well gather that up while we're at it. Uh, six, six storage shelves. I don't know. Doesn't really look that good. But it's better than what we have, which is nothing. So let's get our, add our item conduit like this. For now, I can put these two away. Just put them down here so they're easy to find. And now we can just... Yeah, see, I love these things because um, they save the power. They save everything. So we want to put Alley Smelter at the bottom. So yeah, there we go. Power going up. Nice. Finally. We want to get a capacitor bank in as well at some point. Okay, cool. So now we can just go and grab uh, all of our iron powder. We got almost two stacks. Well, a stack and a half. Let's drop it all in here. Get that cooking up. And what we'll do is configure it. So let's get a chest. Do we have a chest? Don't think so. We have to just have to make one here. Uh, but we don't want to make a chest. We're going to do this. Actually, let's grab uh, before we go too much farther. Um, that. We want to grab. Uh, where are you here? Cool Coke. Here we go. Grab just eight of this for now. And some iron. So we're going to put eight iron in here, get that going, and in here gonna, we need some more creosite. What I want to do is I want to make a one of these guys here. Actually, I'll do it now. I'll just take this guy because we'll replace it. Because the great thing about these is you don't have to open a lid to get to them. So what we can do is we can configure this, and at the bottom we're going to say um, push. So anything that it makes here is going to push it into here. That's awesome. Cool. Now we could auto do we could auto smelt down into here too if we want, but I generally don't do that. We could, but don't have to. Now we want to do um, let's grab our iron horse armor here. Just so I can show you the reason why you want to grab these. It uses up a full slot, I know, but so each one of these would either give you five or ten. There's five um, iron. Uh, grit, which you can now, there's another five, which we can then smelt up. 
and it's uh, that one gave us 10. So uh, the more you collect, obviously, the better off you're going to be in the long run. We have a ton of iron now, which we're going to need for making steel later on, because uh, we want to build a rocket to get off this rock at some point. Uh, I'll probably build the rocket, but I won't launch it. I mean, we won't leave. We want to going to stay here because I love playing on this uh, um, on this world. It's so tough, and the the more we move along, the tougher it's going to get. It's just going to be more and more enjoyable for me. Uh, I don't know, but once we get to the rocket, you know, if you guys don't want me to do any more, I can end the series. But I'll could probably keep playing on my own because I really enjoy this. All right, so that's that. Um, that's going. Got our power running now. Um, we'll get the industrial hemp running. I might I might just build a walkway through here rather than going up on the roof. I like going up on the roof um, simply because um, the mobs will come after us and they'll uh, leave some stuff for us to grab. All right, let's just grab this hemp real quick before we end the episode. Um, what I want to try and do is see if we can just get enough. Do I hear? Yeah, I heard somebody running around. There. I don't know if it's here, Brian. Somebody's running uh, running around. Or moving relatively quickly. I don't think it's a screamer. It's probably here, Brian. Or it might not be. It might just be a couple of guys. So like I said, we just needed one more stack in a bit. And we'll have enough hemp to uh, make the second windmill. And then we'll double our power. And then we definitely want to make sure we have capacitors. So capacitors are basically the next level of um, the next level of quests to do. We need to get some more worms too. I'll have to do that tomorrow. Yeah, somebody's running out there. At least it sounds like it. It could be a couple of people. Let's find out. Oh, it's a screamer. Dark MD Beaner, eh? What do you got on you? You got wire? You got duct tape. Come on, build up, guys. Come on. You wanna bring me duct tape? I'm not gonna say no. Well, that's a bonus. It's almost like these diamond. Are you kidding me? It's almost like these guys had uh, robbed a chest or something. They had diamond boots. How do you get diamond boots? I don't know how you got diamond boots. I'm not going to argue it, but wow. Alright guys, well there's the end of the episode. Diamond boots. That's uh... Yeah, man, I'm not going to say no to that. All right, so uh, next episode, we will get our turrets up and running. Um, because it, yeah, these are damaged, too. Um, so it must be theirs. We'll get our... Um, we almost got enough. Look at this. I should just go bone meal the rest of this and put it up today. Let's do that. We only need 10 more. Let's go do it, because why not? Uh, so uh, what we'll do... Let's take nine of these. We don't think we'll need more than that. Uh, what we'll do next episode... Um, do this. Oh, we may not even have to do that. Look at this. Look how fast these things grow. Yeah, man. We should have enough. So second windmill up today. Excellent. So we're going to build some diamond armor probably tomorrow. Um... I think we're gonna we probably have enough diamonds at the moment to do that, um, and we want to get our turrets up and running tomorrow, uh, so we'll do that too. Put those in there. Let's make some more tiny torches just because we can. We're gonna need these at some point. Uh, diamond boots can go in here. Ender pearl. I don't mind Herobrine coming by. He's giving us a good supply of ender pearls, so can't say no to that. All right, so now I think we've got more than enough here. I think all we're missing is sticks. Which we can easily get. Easily get. That should be more than enough sticks, I think. 
So we put the sticks here. One, two, three, four, and don't break. We need more sticks. Why do I think that was enough? I clearly remember having 32 last time, but I guess I didn't. All right, do this, and we have enough for this as well. Yep. Perfect. All right, now we do that, and that, and that. We need a piece of steel, uh, which is up here now. Uh, steel, steel, steel. Where are you, steel? There it is. Um, put these in here now. That's it. All right, piece of steel in the center. There's our other windmill blade. Let's go put that upstairs. These can go in here. This can go in here. We need at least one of these for up there. All right, let's go up. Got to cut this tree down. So that that second one going. I mean, we both of our machines are probably full right now, but uh, it's just going to help out later on. There we go. Two windmills. Nice. So rapidly um, making industrial hemp um, gets your power generation up like right away. You can bypass a lot of things. Um, you can make a canola generator uh, if you want and just gather canola and grow it. That's a possibility. Uh, you can make a basic windmill if you want. But like I said, once you get hemp, hemp seed, and you get bones from everything, right? Once you get hemp seed, um, you just plant it, and then just bone meal the crap out of it, and it grows ridiculously fast. Uh, like if we look down there, a couple of them already grown since we've been down there. We've got the worms doing their job, and you know that's all you really need to do. Um, get these dynamos. It does require a fair bit of redstone and iron and stuff to get this stuff going. Um, some creosite, so you need to get that going. Um, so you need to have your power cables and stuff, but other than, like, once you've done that, it's simple. And then you got lots of power running. I, we, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if there's a way we can check to see how much power that is, but it's a fair bit for what we're doing right now. Uh, it's going to run all our machines. Um, we're not going to have to, we're not worrying about power now for, you know, till close to end game, most likely. All right. So this generator we're going to need for the turrets. So we're just going to put it in here with these guys. Um. You could run power to the turrets, but why waste the material when you can just... These turrets take so little power to run, you don't even really need to worry about them. Um, we just need to find a good place to put them, and we have to decide. I think we're probably going to be using um, rocks on the one depostable turret. That's the easiest thing to use, because we can get those relatively simply. And in the other one, it's a potato potato turret, potato cannon. It, it's got a much better range than this one does. This one's got a range of blocks of 12. This one shoots out a little further. Um... It's got zero AOE range. Projectile damage is four hearts. So it doesn't, this one does four hearts as well. Um, and zero AOE uh, radius. But the power uses, this is 10 per shot. This is two per shot. Um, so this one here um, is a much better turret. I just use this one as a secondary backup. If you're going to be shooting damage out at people, you might as well use both turrets. Especially if you can continuously supply this one potatoes. And since we've got potatoes, I mean, we might as well throw it up. And if it runs out of ammo, well, it just runs out of ammo, no big deal. So, and we'll have one, um, the furnace generator in between both of them. So it'll be powering both of the machines at the same time. So you don't really have to worry about stuff. All right. So we're going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, got our windmills up and running, which is like a major feat. Got our power generation happening now. Uh, this thing is still going. Um, but as you can see, we got like enough iron to last us a fair bit now. And we can do the same thing what we did with the iron. Uh, horse armor with the gold horse armor and get lots of gold now I don't right now there's, there's not a lot of use for gold uh, but we can do upgrades to our backpacks which we're going to do that um, we'll upgrade these backpacks so we can carry a lot more stuff when we go most likely what I'll do is I'll end up upgrading one or two to gold um, and then at that point we're not going to have to worry about uh, having storage so uh, an iron backpack basically doubles the storage a gold backpack triples the storage so it'll be like having three backpacks in one and then we'll have two of those running. So we'll have plenty of storage from when we go out in our walkabouts trying to pick up some more uh, stuff. And we're going to have to hit some more drops because we do need some more redstone. 
Um, we need a fair bit of it in order to um, um, get our uh, redstone plants running, basically. Um, they're not really plants, but in order to get them running, we're going to need that. So this is drawing a fair bit of power. You can see the power is kind of going up and down, up and down, up and down. But we have two windmills running now, which is better. So, yeah, it's almost out of power. That's fine, though. It'll power itself back up again once uh, once we're done. And which is the, another reason why we want to have a capacitor bank. Once we get a capacitor, we'll just throw it in here somewhere, like in between these two. And then it'll fill up with power when these aren't running. And then when these run out of power, it'll just draw from the capacitor bank. So that's, that's kind of the goal anyway. All right, so if you liked the episode, drop a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, if you've got any comments or questions, please drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.